All right, so the complaint is, is that they've got a sewage smell all throughout the building. The customer has called the plumber. The plumber's done all kinds of work to try to solve the problem. Everything's short of replacing all the plumbing going from the building to the street. So they called me after they did all this work because their facilities director came out here and said, wait a minute, something's not right with the building balance. So sure enough, I come out and right when I come to the doors, I could already tell they have a massive negative air pressure problem. So currently right now, I have all the uh, air conditioning units running. I have all the exhaust fans running and we are in a negative air pressure situation. That's negative 0.27 inches of water column is the building pressure. This particular restaurant has three air conditioning units that are acting as their makeup air. Okay, so they're bringing fresh air in. They have no dedicated makeup air unit. We have a restroom exhaust and a dishwasher exhaust right there. The restroom exhaust actually isn't working, so that's gonna create an even worse problem once I fix the restroom exhaust. But we're gonna keep on checking the rest of the building. What we're gonna do right here is come up to the RTU units, the air conditioning units, make sure that we've got a call for occupied and a call for G. So these Lennox units, you have to have that call for occupied for the outside air dampers to open up. The occupied signal is basically telling the unit that someone is in the building, okay? So the occupied and the G call is good. I have that same call on every RTU or AC unit. I also verified that all of these exhaust fans are working, okay? So what I want to show you guys is how much of a difference it's going to make if we open up these outside air dampers. So this one right here is actually partially open. We're pulling outside air. This is the only unit that has a full economizer. Notice that it has dampers down here and dampers up here. These other units only have minimum outside air damper. So it still has an actuator, but notice there's no dampers down below. It's just right here to pull fresh air. So this unit's the same. This is the third unit. The outside air damper is closed and there's no dampers down below. I'm gonna show you guys an example here. So notice that I opened up the filter door for every AC. Two, three. Now let's walk over to our manometer and see what our building pressure is. Let's come on over here and check this out. We're reading 0 0.02 of positive pressure now. Okay, so this is essentially what we're going to do. We're going to get these outside air dampers opened up so we can bring this building into a slightly positive pressure. I don't know if we're going to be running 0 0.02, but we're going to get it just ever so slightly positive. Okay, because they're not running full economizers, we need to run these mode, these units in a minimum outside air position setting. Okay, so we flip our dip switches on our economizer logic board. That's that board right there. Okay, that is the A56 board. We need to flip our two switches to D set, D S E T. That's going to allow us to set a minimum outside air position and the damper is not going to fluctuate. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to start by setting that at 100%. It was completely closed at this moment. We're going to let that guy modulate and we'll do the other ACs too. Adjusting those guys is opening these outdoor air dampers or minimum outside air, or they might call them fresh air dampers. So we're just waiting for them all to modulate open and then we're gonna close all the filter access doors and we're gonna test the building pressure again. All right, with all the outside air dampers 100% open, we are still running slightly in the negative air pressure. And that's still with an exhaust fan that is uh, not working. So the, the negative air pressure is gonna get worse. What we need to do is verify that all the AC blower belts are running and tight and all the uh, minimum outside air filters or fresh air filters are clean because those are all gonna affect our balance also. So these filters are actually pretty dirty and then we're gonna go check the belts on all the units too but the filters are kinda dirty on every AC. So turned off the unit just checking the belts tension it's actually pretty good so far on two of the ACs I'm gonna check the third but the blower wheels are something to be said for this one's not horrible 
but every little bit makes a difference. The kitchen AC is pretty dirty, so we'll definitely recommend a blower wheel cleaning on these things too. Okay, this is the last AC, belt's pretty tight. Blower wheel's kind of dirty too. We need to get that cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the AC drain's full of water. It's probably hard to see, but yeah, the drain's plugged up. So we'll get that blown out. Okay, so this building has a smart hood system, or, or uh, it's a hood system made by a company called Maylink, and it's called the IntelliHood system. This particular restaurant is no longer using the IntelliHood system to its capabilities because the cost to repair the IntelliHood system to them far exceeds the savings costs, so they've been bypassing them. Now, I haven't done a full hood bypass on this system, but temporarily what happened was as the motor starters failed, or their variable frequency drive motor starters, they've had me just bypass them so the exhaust fans are running 100%. And what has happened is the exhaust fans are now running at 100% and we had to open up the outside air dampers to compensate for the makeup air. So this system is not balanced at full speed when it's operating properly. The system is air balanced at medium speed. So they don't need as much outside air when the exhaust fans are not running 20, you know, full blast. But because all the VFDs are bypassed now as they have failed, the exhaust fans are running essentially at 60 hertz full speed and the building balance has suffered because of it. That's why this call came out. Now, they didn't tell me that they had this problem, um, the air balance problem, but, you know, whatever. Interestingly enough, once I opened up the outside air dampers on the ACs, the vent pipe right there has sewage smell coming out of it now. When I walked up here, I had no sewage smell. So that just shows you how the negative air pressure was pulling in the sewage smell into the building. Now, another thing the customer has to think about, that vent pipe sticking out of the ground right there, when I walk over to my tool bag, I can smell sewage. Now, look at this minimum outside air damper on this AC. Potentially, they could pull that smell in through that outside air damper now too. So they may have to do something to get that uh, to get that um, vent pipe, you know, vented over somewhere else, so they don't get the sewage smell inside the building. They may have to extend that over and you know go to the other side of the building or something like that. But they'll have to figure that out. Okay, so I thought this was a good example to talk about air balance. You guys see how important it is in these restaurants, and especially in this particular setup where they don't have a dedicated makeup air unit, and they're using the minimum outside air dampers on every AC. So we definitely have some work to do here. My recommendations to the customer is gonna be that we're gonna do a full bypass properly on the hoods, put in traditional motor starters because they don't wanna fix it, okay? I would rather put in the, the factory components and get the system operating the way that it came from the factory, but the customer doesn't want that. So I'm gonna do what they want and we're gonna recommend they go ahead and do uh, what they call a Maylink hood bypass. I've done it at a few of them. And then we're going to come through and go through the ACs, blow out the drains, clean the blower wheels. Uh, they're gonna have to get this other exhaust fan over here, this restroom exhaust running because the restroom needs to be running properly. Uh, but again, that's gonna make the negative air pressure even worse. So uh, cleaning those blower wheels and cleaning those minimum outside air filters or outside air, fresh air filters, I should say, is, is crucial to this building. Uh, also gonna be a slight recommendation that they let me go ahead and put full economizers on each AC. So that way uh, we can, essentially the way that it works right now is, is I have to open up the kitchen AC 100%. So they're not pulling any building air into the kitchen AC right now. They're only pulling outside air into the kitchen. And uh, I would like to get, and that takes away from the efficiency of the unit. So in the summertime, they're gonna struggle in the kitchen. So what I would like to do is put full economizer with the full dampers, bottom and top, on each one of these other two ACs. Because if I do that, then I can close down the kitchen a little bit and open up these ones a little bit and get a little more air because right now all that these are doing is, is just pulling outside air and it's not being forced so we need to um, get these economizers you know installed on these other two ACs and then we can uh, we can balance this building so when this hood system is operating properly 
there's a laser beam that's shot out of that it shoots over to this side and when that laser beam gets interrupted with smoke it speeds up these exhaust fans 100 percent but normally they just run in like a medium speed mode now their fryer section over here doesn't have the laser beam it just works off of temperature so when the temperature in the fryer section gets to a certain temperature it speeds up the exhaust fans to 100 percent the system should be controlled from this keypad which has broken buttons and it's not operating you see all the error messages that's because we have the system bypassed right now this is our control section and you can see that none of the VFD drives have a display and we just have them bypassed you see the wire nets just tie in line one and load one together you know, all the way through line two line three all that so but normally it would be operated by the brain inside that mailing control panel that listens and sees everything and then determines whether or not to speed up the exhaust fans and slow them down. The cool thing is, is that they're variable per exhaust fan. So if only one hood has smoke in it, it's only going to speed up one hood and not all of them. But unfortunately, the customer just doesn't feel the need to repair these anymore because of the cost and they have us bypassing them.